ITV National News with Sandy Ronaldo. Good evening. We begin tonight with hundreds of thousands of Canadians cut off from their own personal sensitive information online as Canada's revenue agency locks them out. Up to 800,000 people are affected just weeks before tax deadline. The CRA is alerting them to possible compromised passwords targeted by fraudsters. And as CTV's Joe Makashan explains, it's not just a worry for those left in limbo, but also a wake-up call. Anxious Canadians waiting for information on benefits and taxes were locked out online today. User IDs and passwords revoked by the Canada Revenue Agency, citing potential cybersecurity risks. They keep sending these errors in the account and we keep facing problems. Pushing some users from the computer to the phone and a multi-hour wait. Your estimated wait time is more than two hours. It's frustrating. They had better not penalize me for filing taxes late if I can't get through on their phone lines. Eric Robert is a chartered accountant. The first thing I do is try logging in and I was notified right away that it was logged. He accesses the CRA website almost daily. His account was also blocked. I have 15 digit alphanumeric passwords with symbols and I've always taken our security because we're dealing with personal information from clients. The agency says 800,000 accounts were locked out of an abundance of caution and to prevent unauthorized access after email phishing schemes and third-party data breaches may have resulted in access to user information. The CRA said it was part of normal operations. When you consider an account compromised, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's been accessed. It simply means that there's a risk of the account credentials having been lost, stolen or shared. In August, the entire website was shut down after thousands of accounts were hacked. In February, users were locked out and now again. The CRA needs to get serious about security for taxpayers. He says as the guardian of some of our most important personal and financial information, the CRA is responsible for protecting it and should require more secure passwords and two-factor authentication, which would send an access message to your cell phone. The time to implement two-factor authentication was last summer after the first major event, not months later, and then only making it optional for Canadians. For its part, the CRA say Canadians should monitor their accounts and protect their passwords. Also warning, lockdowns could become more frequent to protect taxpayer information. Sandy. All right, Jill, thank you. International outrage.